today ladies and gentlemen we are going to talk about the most driest place on earth where the highest temperature recorded is 134 degrees fahrenheit it is even possible to fry an egg with sun's exposure every place on this location is 70 kilometers far from road and there's no way for a lost person to survive more than 14 hours in this heat with the presence of wild animals waiting for you to die. Most people consider it the living hell. Then how the one million people who visits this place for camping every year survives? And how the only 800 people living here manage their daily routines? Find out on our channel the Curious Corner. The place we are going to talk about is called the Death Valley. Death Valley is a desert located in California, USA. This place was not discovered but was inhabited by the tribal people for thousands of years. It all started in the early 18th century when James Marshall, who was a sawmill operator in California, discovered gold in his own mill. The news of his discovery brought 300,000 people from all over the world to California in search of gold. This search was called the California Gold Rush and more than 750,000 pounds of gold was found between 1848 to 1855 in California. During the gold rush, a group of gold seekers were on their way to find a shortcut for the gold fields of California. Their journey brought them to the most hottest place on earth. The gold seekers thought that it was a random desert and tried to cross it. A lot of people from their group died from dehydration and heat stroke. The rest suffered mental illness in the desert, having hallucinations. Hearing voices and watching things that were not actually present. Since it was the winter season, a few of them managed to survive a couple of weeks and were later on rescued. Although it is not clear how many people managed to survive, but they ended up naming the place the Death Valley. Later on in 1994, Death Valley was redesignated as a national park by the Desert Protection Act. The goal was to protect the unique and diverse features of this area and is now considered the most dangerous tourist destination in the world. Still, more than 1 million people visit this place every year to witness the unique geological features, harsh environment, rare wild plants and for stargazing as it is one of the most darkest place on earth at night. People who visit Death Valley for camping are advised to carry at least 2 gallons of water per person and to seek shade during the hottest parts of the day. Private vehicles are also allowed in the park but in most places it is advised to turn the air condition off to prevent overheating of the vehicle. The GPS is unreliable and the people who visit here are often used to rely on physical maps. The cell phone coverage is also very little and in case if your car breaks down you are advised to stay with your car till someone finds you. Because in most cases people who often leave their car to walk towards safety are never found alive. Due to no cell phone service help might be many hours away. 
so one should always be prepared to self-rescue. Off-roading is illegal and your car should be in good condition with off-road tires and spare ones to prevent any mishappening. Setting a campfire is not allowed in summer and people are advised to wear suitable clothing with sunglasses, hat and sunscreen. Being the most driest place of North America, Death Valley gets 2 to 4 inches of rain every year. It is home for many exotic animals such as badgers, foxes, deers and bighorn sheep. Pets are not allowed in certain areas of Death Valley as they can become a prey and can attract predators. The hikers are advised to carry food in sealed containers and to never approach or feed wild animals. Carrying binoculars and keeping an eye out could be a person's best chance to avoid them. Making as much sound as possible can alert the wild animals of your presence and can give them time to move away but certain animals wouldn't mind having a look at where the noise is coming from. Therefore, hiking in a group is a person's best option and also firearms are allowed in the park. Furthermore, people are advised to not place their hands or feet where they cannot see and always check your shoes before wearing them. As venomous snakes, scorpions, tarantulas, and black widow spiders are a major threat present here. They can even enter your tent or your room, so precautions are necessary. Dangerous breeds of mosquitoes and other bugs are also found here, including bees, beetles and assassin bugs that won't mind hurting you. This is the reason all travelers are advised to carry mosquito repellents and first aid kits with them. After all, it's a desert. When Death Valley was declared a park and a lot of people started visiting it, the tribal people who were used to live in Death Valley for the past 1000 years started moving towards other places. Their tribe was called Timbisha Shushon and now only 300 people are left. Many members of the tribe became active members of the Death Valley National Park and contributed in maintaining the park. The tribal people back then were used to hunt animals and catch fish for food and were used to collect water from different sources and store them in clay pots and rock lined wells. Their ancient knowledge helped them to withstand the extreme environment. They were used to utilize different types of plants to cure their wounds, diseases and to even build houses that provide insulation from harsh sun during the day. Even after all that, at the peak months of summer, they were used to migrate towards different parts of the region to survive. In modern days, people are used to live in small towns inside Death Valley, with access to basic necessities like air conditioning and the internet. The tap water can often exceed 100 degrees as the area's intense heat affects the underground pipes. It takes weeks for an average person to get used to the extreme temperature. The environment is so dry that every time a person breathes, it sucks the moisture out of the mouth. Every liquid here evaporates too fast that a person can't even feel their own sweat. While many people have air conditioners and swamp coolers in their houses, there are also many people who never use air conditioning even in peak summers to save money on utility bills. The cost of living is relatively low and so is the income of people. While there are grocery stores and markets in nearby towns, most residents of Death Valley consume canned, frozen and prepackaged meals as they are easy to store and prepare. Tap water is generally used for cooking and water storage tanks play a vital role in ensuring continuous water supply. But the real question is, why would anyone want to live in a place like this? 
Temperature above 100 degrees only lasts for 5 months. And from fall to spring, the weather of Death Valley is not extremely hot. Long days and cool nights with colorful sunsets are enough to keep many people happy. The National Park itself is primarily designated for conservation and recreation purposes, with residential areas only for park staff and researchers. The local residents live in communities outside the National Park, such as Furnace Creek and Stovepipe Wells. These communities offer a range of facilities for people, including housing, schools, healthcare and other services necessary for daily life. Many residents work in hotels, restaurants and for park services. The others work and own small retail stores. Despite the harsh environment, farming activities also take place in the region. While there are limited options for residents of Death Valley to earn a living, most people prioritize a simple lifestyle. Living in such remote and untouched environment can provide a sense of connection towards nature and a calming peace that is difficult to find elsewhere. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel, The Curious Corner.